Give this video a big thumbs up for a vaginal birth after C-section as well as shout outs to Teamwork Birthing on Instagram and YouTube. I recommend these midwives if you are in the Florida area. Whew, that was such a good watch. Now babies make a lot of little movements and adjustments in order to fit into your pelvis and the baby's head is soft and it molds as it enters into the birth canal. Each contraction brings your baby's head further and further out. And the crowning is official once the baby's head is further out enough so that it does not retract back. Now, in most cases, babies are fully born within a few contractions after crowning, just like this one. And your body is designed to stretch and fit around your baby's head. So have encouragement in that. Now, crowning does feel different for everyone. But many people use the words as burning, stinging, and the ring of fire. But the good news is it only lasts a few seconds. It's super short, super short-lived, and it will be over very, very quickly. Now, when your baby is crowning, you may feel like continuing to push at full force because of the pressure. But try to ease your baby out slowly upon the crowning. Allow your tissues to stretch open more slowly so that you can avoid tearing. Warm compresses, using oil to, for your perineum, as well as being in the water are great ways to make your tissues more pliable and to prevent or reduce tearing. Wow, I, it was so nice to see her husband catch their baby. Such a beautiful and powerful moment that they got to share together. I still remember when I saw my baby's head emerge into the water in my bathtub. And I remember looking down and thinking, wow, if I can achieve this, I can achieve anything. And that is a true testament. If she can achieve that, if you can achieve that, you can achieve anything. So smash the like button once again for them for having a vaginal birth after a C-section, as well as shout outs to Teamwork Birthing. If you wanna know more about them, their information is in the description down below. Beautiful moment of catching their own baby. They allow the husbands to be a part of that moment as well and catch their own baby. And you can just see how the midwife stepped to the side and allowed for that moment to happen and believing that they could do it, believing that it was possible. And midwives like that will help to change birth and help to shift birth for the better. Now, some people don't really care to catch their own babies, and that's okay. Whatever works for you works for you. But for the moms who feel liberated and so joyous from the idea of being the first hands to touch their baby after all the things they went through through their entire pregnancy and holding their baby for the first time and bringing their baby to their chest 
on their own or the partner doing it is like the greatest pregnancy gift anyone could ever give. And coming from someone who caught her own baby as well, it's such a beautiful feeling. But now that I'm looking back on it, it's more than just the feeling in that present moment. It truly represents a memory that will last a lifetime. When I think about my birth, I still remember exactly how it felt bringing my baby up to my chest for the very first time. I still remember what it felt like his skin and his umbilical cord. And those memories help to really keep everything fresh and vivid in my mind. And it's truly an experience that I believe all of you women are capable of. Even though you are going through your contractions and you are going through a lot of intensity, when you take on the role of knowing I'm going to be the one to catch my own baby, there's a power that comes amongst you. There's an awareness, there's a sharpness, there's an attentiveness that just swoops over you. And you just believe in yourself that you know that you can do it. You will not drop your baby. Your baby will not slip out of your hands. You will hold your baby knowing that it's only your responsibility to do so seeing the partner, being able to enjoy that moment too because he will also remember that moment for a lifetime. So smash the like button for this mom and this father. If you are new to this channel, our goal is to get to 21,000 subscribers in 2021. So click that red juicy button down below, down below. It says subscribe, it says subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.